put it very well. Let's hear from head coach Steve Nash about everything that unfolded. Hey, coach, first off with the roller coaster of a night with Kevin, what is your understanding of his situation right now and his availability? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'll try to um, explain this from what I know. He's, uh, I don't believe he'll, he'll come to Philly, but I, I, I don't think that he necessarily, they've decided. It's a, you know, it's just a contract tracing procedure, and um, I think that we're, it's to be determined. Uh, how much time he'll have to miss, uh, but we're just gathering information still at this point. With the game itself, what was what was most disappointing in, in crunch time and those crucial minutes down the stretch? What was most disappointing uh, in, the, in the in the lack of execution that you saw? Yeah, you know, it was tough. They they did it. You know, Nick's a great coach and does a great job. Uh, yeah, you know, mixing up the game defensively, so we tried to keep it really simple. Um, we missed some open looks and Lowry made some big shots and we gave up offensive rebounds and turned the ball over and you add it all up and they found separation in the last couple of minutes so uh, just a bit pointing close to the game but we'll learn from it and uh, we'll get better by this Malika Andrews ESPN Hi Steve um, to, to what degree was was this distracting at all trying to kind of juggle keeping up with all this information on the one hand how much of it were you kind of trying to retain and how much was it like you know what I just I can't focus on this with Kevin until mm. after the game uh, if I'm honest I, I probably didn't handle it great just trying to juggle all those balls all that different information um, what does it mean I probably got a little distracted about thinking what it means long term for our team you know we we've already been playing guys a lot of minutes and if Kevin's not playing are we going to run the remaining guys too many minutes and so maybe I got a little bit distracted by the big picture and you know but that that's the way this year's going to be we're going to be in and out of uh, COVID situations and um, minute you know uh, pileups and and all the difficulties that we're going to face this year and it's going to be the similar for everyone so we just have to try to adapt and and you know, be able to bounce back from little setbacks like this. And, you know, unfortunately, we couldn't bounce back to win the game, but uh, we got to be able to bounce back this next week and play well and keep getting better. Brian Lewis, New York Post. Hey, Steve, I understand that this is ongoing and you're going through this now, but, I mean, are you expecting a similar situation to what Kevin had the last time, or are you waiting on this calculus that the NBA has to determine how many days we're looking at? That's a good question. I'm not really sure. I, I, I hope it's it's more of a, a t to be determined situation than, than a, you know a situation where it's a one week, um, you know, qu quarantine or whatever you want to call it. it you know, he. I, I, yeah, I don't know. I, I hope that obviously we don't lose him for the week, but uh, I'm, I'm not sure exactly right now what's going to come of this. And I think we're still trying to filter what kind of information we can gather tonight and, and the type of uh, parameters around the decision. Laura Albanese, Newsday. Well, Steve, I was just curious. Do you have some clarity in terms of what changed uh, that allowed Kevin to actually get back in the game? Because I know the first test was inconclusive, but did anything change after that that said, okay, now he's safe to go in? I believe there was a uh, bunch of, they, they continued to test to try to gain clarity, and I think there was, you know, there, there was a positive test, there was, I think, a negative test, there was an inconclusive test. I think you add it all up. It was misleading for a moment, and that's why he was allowed to play, and then uh, they continued to test to try to gather more data, and, and the last test was positive. So. I think that was the final straw that pulled him out of the game. Um, but I don't want to say too much because I'm not, uh, you know, my head's spinning a little bit from all the parameters of Kevin's situation, but also trying to um, coach our team in, in a shifting landscape. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, Steve, I got two quick ones for you. Kevin was announced as a starter initially, and then it was scratch against. Just how quickly or how, what was the timeline prior to tip-off that you found out he, he wouldn't be able to start? And, and just have you been able to say anything to him uh, after the game since it all started? No, I haven't spoke to him since the game. Um, I th found out basically as we were going out on the court as coaches, so a few minutes before tip. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and I think that answers your question. Obviously, he w it was in a timeout in the third quarter where they, you know, early in the third quarter where he was done for the night. So, you know, I, was, uh, I, haven't, I haven't spoke to him since then.